Welcome everyone, it's me Rifa, your regular host from Team Bertho, who's back here again with another episode of Ichigochi, and this time the episode number is 14. So like any other time here in this episode, we will um, discuss about the present insights about growth, developing skills, self-improvement, and many more. This show is brought to you by Team Bertho and Yes Girls Movement, Bangladesh Girls Guide. Um, like I've mentioned in my previous lives, the presence of my regular viewers will always be appreciated along with the ones who are actually seeing it right now. So I hope it's actually worth binging around with. Okay, so this is 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. That's exactly what we're celebrating right now. It's basically a global campaign that kicks off annually the International Day for the Elimination of violence against women and this thing continues till the 10th of december which is also known as the human rights day so the guest for our today's show is Nutan Chaudhry, who's basically uh studying in brack university and gets a little passionate about working with multicultural people and she is also the head for foreign affairs in timberto so i wouldn't much about her i'd want her to intro a little bit more about herself so please welcome Nutan Chaudhry. hello hello can you see me yeah sure you're perfectly audible so yeah. how are you Nutun? um i'm good how are you i'm good too so give a little intro about yourself to the viewers who are actually watching it right now. Um, thank you, everyone. Like, uh, namaste and hope you all are doing well. So basically, I'm from Nepal and I'm currently studying undergraduate in Brack University in CSC department and I'm in seventh semester. So uh, I came here in the early 2020 so uh, basically i got stuck in the lockdown and in the uh, last of the lockdown i was almost here so uh, and after the uh, classes got offline we got shifted near to the campus where we live now so it has been a best experience till now we have been to the brack university and moreover like uh, i'm from nepal so today i'll be representing the folk game of my country uh, the games we played in our childhood the games that carries a lot of memory in our heart yes please we are looking forward for that please go on yeah before telling about the fall games in uh, like the games we played in our childhood like i would like to discuss about my nepal so next slide please uh, so this is the introduction about me. As I have already told you, I'm pursuing the BSc in Computer Science and Engineering from Brack University, Bangladesh. And I'm working uh, under the team board as a head of foreign affairs. Slide change. And most importantly, the meet my team, uh, the team member. Uh, and without them, like uh, I couldn't have done much. So they helped me in each and every situation is the Aptahi. And, Aptahi Noor Bhaiya, so most of us have already known him. He's the director of Operation Team Borto, and another one is the uh, Afridi Alam. Yeah, he's also the perfect uh, the perfect Bhaiya who had helped us a lot in the like videography uh, and the photography content writer. Next slide. And here comes the place where I was born, my Nepal. So before giving the uh, introduction of my game. I like to give the introduction of my Nepal, my pride, and my life. So, uh, I'm. Uh, I was born in Nepal, in the city of Nepal called Kathmandu. The my Nepal is. Um, uh, my Nepal is located from the uh, like it ranges from the high Himalayas in the world called the Mount Everest to the uh, to the Tarai region of Nepal, which is unexplored, uh, and the biodiversity, uh, which is still which uh, is still unknown, which is uh, still unexplored and which is the most glorious part of our life, part of our memories we are carrying in it. Uh, the, the scenario which is full of natural beauty, uh, musically, uh, most uh, basically there are 123 ethnic groups, uh, like uh, they are carrying their one culture, one customs, one tradition, one food. So 
can turn to, to the next slide. And here is the place where I was born. It's my favorite place. It always remains in my heart. Whenever I wake up in the morning, I remember this temple and I always pray to God, please God make my day. And it's the best place of my um, best place where I can be born. It's the, uh, it is known as the uh, God place of Lord uh, Goddess Sita, which connect us uh, in the terms of belief, in terms of religious, like uh, many countries such as India, Nepal, and many more. So now describing a ball. So uh, although it's not enough uh, describing about my Nepal, I like to go part, uh, go to the next chapter, please. Basically, in our childhood, we had different games, but the main uh, main games we can, which can be included in the short period of time was Rumal Lukai, Chungi, Bomblas, Gucha, and the London Stop. Similarly, we do have our volleyballs, uh, Gilly Danda, uh, and many more, but due to the short amount of time and the uh, uh, short amount of time, I just could mention this game. And believe me, it's going to be more interesting learning about it. So next slide. Yes, it's the best place. Uh, like it's the best game we all had played. Uh, it's like a uh, handkerchief hiding, where uh, where we used to ha uh, where we used to sit in the. <laughs> so honestly, it's making remember uh, remembrance of my childhood. You know, because of this game, <laughs> I always used to lose this game. Honestly, I'm speaking. You know. <laughs> Uh, we used to play this uh, like uh, when there used to be a tiffin break. We usually call it, uh, we usually used to call it the tiffin break. And then when whenever there is teacher was absent, we just used to prefer this game. We used to sit in the middle of the ground and by rounding. <laughs> and there was uh, there used to be the first player who used to carry the handkerchief and the student uh, or the player who used to have the clean handkerchief. We used to tell them, please, you go first. <laughs> It was really the interesting game, you know. The player goes round and round in a circle without letting other know behind whom he dropped the handkerchief. And still, uh, still, if uh, he or she is unable to find that uh, the handkerchief is behind him or <laughs> him or she, then we used to make <laughs> we used to make him sit in the middle of the uh, middle of the students and catch his ears. And we are so uh, notorious during our childhood, and we are uh, we are like done a lot of things to to the people like who was uh, out of the game and basically it used to be me <laughs> the player like uh, af even after the player makes one down uh, uh, and uh, if uh, he or she is unable to depict if the uh, like uh, the handkerchief is still behind and if he or she can't change uh, chase the other player who had dropped it then then lastly the uh, like uh, he goes around and repeats the same process like uh, uh, the game used to continue, but who was the gamer? Like who was the the punishable, the culprit? Not even the culprit. It uh, like uh, we can't even say the culprit because uh, honestly, we used to do that uh, mysterious activities. So that's it about it. So we can talk about the others. Please next slide. Yes, it used to our it used to be our favorite game. Uh, like many of you guys remember the cardboard we used to give exams so we used to write there and then even we used to play using that cardboard you know chungi and then how much uh, how much catch we can make it that was one part and another was like hitting with the leg until bad until dropping it uh, until dropping it to the ground and then we used to get the we used to give the target to, uh, like if the target is 25 26 then and uh, once the uh, once the people who does uh, reach the target then uh, at the last moment he or she used to throw the chungi a little far to uh, like uh, and that used to be rule of the game so if uh, he or she is unable to do the reach the target then it, then they used to be out and then the game used to continuously be like this so it was also quite fun game in my childhood next one please yes the bomb blast we used to shout a lot when when this game used to start and even like when we when we were playing in our teacher the teacher used to saw us from the far and 
even all we used to enjoy this game in our like there was a big ground in my school and in every school there uh, there is supposed to be a compulsory the big ground so that the school can so that the people or the student can have their mental uh, mental health development or physical development through the games and activities so this one also this one was also one of our favorite game in like uh, uh, we need, while throwing this chungi we need to say the bomb uh, bomb is going to be blast or the bomb blast and then throw it and uh, if the people catch it uh, catches that chungi then the opposite one gets the opposite one gets the out otherwise if it's get heated on the leg or uh, out the uh, or out or the body and if it's unable to catch then the person used to get out who threw the chungi and this was also one of the best game and this was also the easiest game <laughs> but the thing was uh, uh, although it was quite funny like uh, it uh, it got lost while we became big because the internet and the technology gets uh, uh, started over it but still i miss this game next slide please yes gutsa this used to be mostly the uh, like uh, our it it is also one of our best childhood game you know like uh, uh, throwing each other uh, like uh, throwing each other marbles you know whenever we used to get <laughs> whenever we used to get the angry we used to uh, like uh, take each other marbles and and tell that no that's our that's my marble and then we used to fight a lot uh, even if you re remember uh, this was also the most uh, most interesting game we could ever forget and uh, especially this game we used to play by hiding from our parents honestly this game used to be otherwise if we won't get once get caught they always take our they used to take our gutha or the small marbles and throw it far from us but still we had a lot of memory regarding this game you know it is a game where the player try to score the points by hitting the opponent's marble however there are different rules and it changes with the people but the general rule is that uh, you draw a circle and dig a shallow hole one player tries to shoot the marble to knock other outside the circle so basically there used to be a circle and especially it used to be played in a rainy season so that we can easily dug that marble the so if the player succeed in going so he wants and get the marble with uh, which he knocked out of the circle the player used to be the most number of marble wins the game and you know the best thing was uh, once the marble is taken by other people the opponent team <laughs> the people the boy who lose the marble you start used to start crying and then their parents used to come to take back that good sir please give him he is crying and it <laughs> it was also like um, it was also full of lots of excitement and it was really it was really the best things to see you know to to child arguing with each other in terms of gutsa so can turn to the next phase yes so all of you have played this egg game isn't it rifa apu yeah we did that i remember playing this uh, london stuff <laughs> so basically we all know this game and it was played uh, within a group of people how many people you you can gather the, or uh, like it was the best thing like whenever you move in a crowd it can, uh, like uh, it can't be seen and the the people who is spelling l o n d o n s t o p is that uh, like um, we used to take the benefit of the crowd and we used to move forward basically this game start with the uh, like uh, one uh, one of the player who is supposed to spell the word london stop and other uh, other people of 10 to 15 or how much you can collect they used to sit in the opposite sides and uh, the player like um, the people who spell the word turns to backward and they start shouting and once he once he once he's done with the word then he used to look forward in the meantime uh, the the huge crowd starts moving forward him so like um and once he got that some people have moved uh, moved or if he see from his one eye then that people used to be out otherwise um, the game continues uh, that way and at last uh, at last moment whenever the two or two, two or three people is remaining he or she touches that person at the last moment and used to run away and 
and uh, cross the certain border then uh, the person if uh, he or she is uh, like uh, the uh, the people who is the first people who, who is spelling the london stuff cannot uh, catch the ca cannot catch the people uh, and after uh, or he or she catches after <laughs> after crossing the border then he has to be again spell the word and again start the game so it was also the most favorite game of our childhood and nepal is full of multicultural multi ethnic and multilingual so there are lots of games there are lots of things to say like we do have dhiki uh, chao um suli pyaz we do have lots of game to say but uh, i can just include this uh, these things like uh, it has been passed from generation to generation and it's been, it has been more formal uh, and everyone in the nepal is still they are playing it whenever we saw them whenever we go to our school days for anything then we saw them playing and it feels like quite relief and quite relaxation when we saw them playing the same thing and it makes our memory you know back so my slides in here and so lastly thank you it was actually great knowing about all the games that you played in nepal i was actually getting nostalgic when you spoke about london stop i remember playing this um, the last time when i played was in dark most probably i played it on the very last day of when we were exactly. about to go to monthly and i just got uh, you know nostalgic about the day and all so yeah it was and really good exactly and do you remember the game like butterfly butterfly which color do you like it used to be our favorite game yeah, like the right. people who used to toss the butterfly color at last given color at last then he or she used to start the games and we used to toss uh, to toss that color to find that color you know and it was so exciting well which one is your favorite among the ones you've mentioned um my favorite as i said rumal luka you know like <laughs> uh, most of the time either i get punished or one of my friend best friend gets punished you know whenever she used to get punished i used to change that no this should not be the punishment the punishment should be little bit harder than mine but whenever i get <laughs> so when we used to punish is actually gets little little when it's about you exactly we, uh, like rumal luka is basically like most favorite game all over the nepal whenever we are whether it's rainy season summer or winter we just gather four to five people and the best handkerchief who carry the best iron one we tell that girl to please today it's your turn you keep your handkerchief you know and then we <laughs> take so do you miss your friends when you're here um of course i do i missed my like uh, i missed everything you know the the time i came here i realized oh no i i forget something i came here with the memories but still i missed by that uh, i missed that bustling streets the food the country the people and especially the smile of my family relatives <laughs> i missed everything but yeah, right. uh, but the thing is i have came with lots of uh, lots of expectation and lots of mm -hmm. excitement and still i'm get i'm happy i'm getting that so okay, far than good to hear that here <laughs> and so it feels like brack isn't giving you much of that pressure <laughs> you're <laughs> enjoying you're being excited no it is but the thing is like our friends even this team bartho it has really given me the uh, relief you know like uh, it's uh, letting we are contributing in many things uh, uh, even through this platform i had got the many opportunity many things to explore in myself so i am in uh, beside my academic pressure i am doing my extra curriculum activity so it's helping me somehow okay uh, and no no please proceed um, like uh, i came in uh, I, i was thinking like why the covid hit us i even done like it was the worst part of our life isn't it yeah. we usually i really missed one year of my college university life actually i missed it i wish we could have met earlier <laughs> i know right but mm -hmm. now that you are here i'm sure we're going to find some time meet in the ub2 cafeteria 
sure sure and um and how how did you feel when you were actually working with the members of team Bertho? Were I mean were they supportive enough? Of course they are. They are the most cooperated person, most uh, person filled with like you know the live soul. The best thing in them is they are like dedicated. They are the best one. Whenever we ask something, they are always there for help. And as a foreigner, it was really. For like difficult for me to cope all these things and they have done a lot of things and I especially want to thank them from my bottom of my heart for so like I'm what because of them and thank you so much Tim Bertha and the members of it for helping me and you're <laughs> always welcome <laughs> and if I have to say something um, let's say the struggles that you had to encounter being a foreign student um, studying in BD, what would that be? Um, the first thing we came here was the language barrier. Although we well. always speak Bali, uh, sorry, although first we always speak common English, but still there was some language barrier. Mm -hmm. Right. True. And then I learned from the Sauber teacher, especially the teacher helped us a lot, you know. Okay. And um, how much are you with the Bengali language? I mean, I mean, now now that you are here for a very long time, but are you getting used to the Bengali phrases? Yeah, almost. Even I like them a lot, you know. I even love the Bangladesh. It's really pretty country and the most beautiful country. Even well, I have um, learned many of the Bengali, like uh, I'm just learning slowly the Bengali language, you know, and I just love it. Well, is there something that is your favorite? I mean, any favorite phrase in Bengali that you have learned after coming here? Uh, you mean to say the Bengali line? Yeah, any Bengali word or maybe phrase that you find <laughs> good. <laughs> like uh, most of the people tell me, Tumi onek sundor, Tumi onek bhalo asir. So, <laughs> do you know what it means? Of course, I do. So I, I would like to tell you, you are like uh, Tumi Onek Sundar and Tumi Onek Bhalo. Did you say that to me? Yeah, yeah, to you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sending you loves. <laughs> Lots of love to you. Tumi Onek Sundar, Tumi Onek Bhalo. Tumar shathe dekha hobe amar. Did you understand the last line though? Yeah, yeah. Soon we will be meeting. Oh, wow. That's, that's so amazing. Uh, all right, so it feels like we're almost at the end of our Ichigo Ichi. Um, so I'd like to thank my audience for being here and being wonderful listeners throughout the entire show. But one more thing that I'd like to say that is we are having a youth development program which invites young people from around the world with a passion for creating change in their communities. So we'd like to know that the application process for our recruitment has been started. We are actually looking forward to see you in further meetings. And the deadline for the application would be the 22nd of December. So with this, we'd like to end the session. It was really nice having Nutan Chaudhary as our guest for today's show, where she spoke about her folk games. And we actually got nostalgic to that. So, yeah, it was um, good. Oh, wait, you wanted to say something. I'm sorry, I really didn't okay. see that. Um, so lastly, thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, Ichigo Ichi, for giving us this golden opportunity. And thank you, Tim Barto. So, so guys, please stay tuned. We are more to bring about my Nepal, about the Bangladesh, about the youth. So. And you, uh, like it's all are connected in diff, uh, uh, different ways, but uh, the, uh, the exciting thing is that we'll be bringing soon the new topics and new things about uh, about uh, the country of each other, the, uh, the culture of each other. So please be tuned with us and do like follow our team work. Thank you. Yeah, Nutun, we are actually looking forward to collab in more um, sessions in future. Till then, stay safe and sane, guys. See you in the next one. Thank you. Namaste.